Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Pubali and today I will talk to you about personal development, your self growth as well as a lot of lifestyle related content on my channel. So if you like this kind of content, do like, share and subscribe. Now I am new to the field of self development but I am a psychiatrist for the last 5-6 years. So the important thing that I like to present here today is some of the things that my patients ask me throughout my clinical practice. And I believe that mental health is not just about curing disease but it is also about bringing about positive versions in ourselves and improving our lives on a day to day basis. So what better day to start your life in a better note than today. So as you know we have 3 months left for this year 2024 and I hope you've had a great year so far. Let's come now and talk to you about what are the changes that I will be making in my 2024 and setting realistic goals for 2025. So now without much ado let's start the video. So the first thing I would like to ask when we talk about change is the motivation that you have for changing. Is it intrinsic motivation that is it's coming from within or is it extrinsic motivation, motivation that coming from external circumstances, other people to impress someone, to get better than someone or it's just to up level based on you know societal expectations. So I think it's very important for us when we embark on the self-development journey as to know what our why is. The why is the reason why we will get out of bed every morning and work towards our goals. The why is the reason when even when the going gets tough, we are going to keep going. Now, as someone who has read a lot of self-help books throughout the years, I felt it was a right time for me to just come and share my knowledge, my experience, my failures, my learnings and just get to know you people much better. So I've been on this YouTube journey for quite some time now as a content creator as well as do check out my Instagram page that I'll add in the link below. Now coming to the tips that I would want you to try out and tips that I personally try out for the next few months so that you can reach your highest version before 2024 ends. Every beginning starts as abruptly as possible. You just need to jump at it because if you think too much, then eventually you will notice that maybe you are just wasting time, procrastinating and never getting around to the point. Modern age has made it very easy for us to get distracted. Due to the use of technology, there are so many distractions. You come to sit down with your work for half an hour, there are multiple notifications on so many apps that are there to distract you. So I feel nowadays if you need to get work done, you always need to go inside a bubble. So the bubble is the zone of influence, that is, when you sit down, you just form the bubble between yourself and the work that you are doing. The bubble helps you kind of form a zone around you, a do not disturb sign basically for the world in which you can just focus on yourself and get the work done. Another tip that I always give when you are trying to get work done is to put your phone on the silent mode or put your phone in another room if that's possible. And another thing that you should always try out is work in those hours that you feel you are most productive. We all have our different time zones in the circadian rhythm that we are productive in. We are morning people or night people. Some of us get the best work done at around 2 a.m. So it's very important that you find your zone of productivity and work mostly in those hours and keep the creative work especially for those hours. The next step is setting micro goals. Now setting micro goals is very important because often when we set a 5 year goal, a 10 year goal, we can't see the road ahead that long. So setting micro goals can be as simple as you know if you've not been able to uh, go out of bed or just take a shower it can be taking a shower for seven days it can be going to the gym for seven days it can be reading 10 pages for seven days setting micro goals helps us achieve so much more than we otherwise would be achieving if we had not set it so it's very important for us to realize how much we can do just in a single day in a single hour now coming to the next goal which is sleep sleep is such an underrated restorative function of the body. It's one of the few functions as I tell my patients that actually gives energy back to you. So it's very important that you prioritize sleep. Sleeping like a baby is actually a concept. The more better quality of sleep that you get, you will realize you're functioning much better on a day to day basis. So these are going to be the first few tips for today. And I hope you'll stay along on this journey as we embark on self development together. Do check out the details in the caption and the description box and do like, share and subscribe.